Hi everyone, last week I got to drive through a beautiful place in the country, a place that I like very much and it's the Crawford Notch State Park. It's in the New Hampshire White Mountains and it's a deep valley through uh, two mountains. And whenever I drive through Crawford Notch, I love to make a pit stop by the Willie House. It, there's a beautiful little lake and there's a dam uh, which is also a little bridge and you, so you can cross over to the other side and there are some trails there's a picnic area and it's just a beautiful place and because I knew I was going to drive by that pit stop that I really like I decided to pack my watercolor supplies and stop for a while and start painting unfortunately I ended up being a couple hours behind and did not have time to stop to paint but I stopped anyway and took a bunch of pictures and decided that I would just paint it at home. So I started doing one painting and I ended up being all over the place. I didn't really plan anything ahead. First I wanted to do a pretty detailed sketch and go over it with ink. But I ended up doing something uh, very loose. Um, and throughout my painting um, I kept on going back from loose and more detailed and I really didn't have anything precise in my head so it was uh, definitely not planned well and you can see by the result uh, at the beginning of this video that uh, this painting was very messy and because I didn't want to close my sketchbook on this messy double page I decided to look through my photos again and I chose a couple of them that I really liked and decided to paint them on the next pages. This time I really paid attention to the details on the pictures and uh, tried to figure out ahead of time how I would go about painting them and it I think it turned out much better. I was not as stressed out because I knew what to do next and the result is much nicer. On the day that I drove by it was very cold and windy and damp so in a way I'm kind of glad that I didn't have time to actually stop and and paint outdoors because I was going to be really cold there were clouds there were very low clouds which made the valley look smaller it really covered the top of most of the mountains and you couldn't see how tall all those mountains were but it was not all dark or gloomy there was still some shine and I think it's partly because the water in some areas is a bright orangey brown I'm not sure what's in there I don't know if it's uh, iron that's in there or not but I always love to see the rocks through that clear water although the color is orange or or brown it's not muddy and it's very clear and you can see through it really well now the hardest part of this painting was to actually paint the, the little rocks and pebbles in the water that I could see through. I really didn't know how to do that so I did what I could and then I did some splatters at the end uh, just because I really had no idea how to go about doing it. But anyway I really enjoy painting this and hopefully next time I'm out and about the weather will be nicer and I'll have more time and I'll be able to just sit and enjoy a plein air painting. Thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you ever go through the New Hampshire White Mountains and you have time to go through Crawford Notch, I really recommend it. It's really beautiful. There's actually a railway that goes through the valley, but on the top of the mountain. So you just follow the edge of the mountain and you see you have a, a look from above of the valley and it's really cool it's a it's a steam train and I've taken it once and it takes a long time to go through the whole valley but it's really really pretty and you get to hear the whole story of this valley and the the first inhabitants and it's fascinating all right that's enough for today thank you again have a wonderful day bye bye